is Sims, and we are back with more London Detective Mysteria, and we are doing the ill-fated ending for Jack's route today, so it might be a shorter part? I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but, so we are starting here, where we were going, uh, oh, we're going to hurry on, because that's what we're supposed to do. Oh, bad things. I need to hurry, or we won't reach each location before dawn. Hurry on. There wasn't any time to waste. I had to keep going. Hurry on. There wasn't any time. The thought alone that Jack the Ripper could be close by seeking my life and only that filled me with impatience. I hate the fact that I can't keep seeing it. Anyway. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. I had to keep going. I suppressed the dread building within me as well as I could. On the outside, I was calm. Okay. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm just like skipping these, but it's like you can't skip through because you choose, and then it's like... Hurry on. Okay. Okay. So, that's what we're supposed to do, and now we'll just skip through until we get to where it changes, so. Bradley is, ah, and then the, ah, and then, ah, and then, so that's basically what just happened. You remember, it's only a couple days ago. Do, 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 do. This one, it th it's weird because in the other one, we got, we just, we did this, and we got our destined end, and that was it. In this one, there was an actual ill-fated ending chapter. Which I just think is like, well, what the... All the other ones had a destined end chapter. This one didn't. Like, I don't know. Anyway. Well, I guess it's because here... But this is the point where we should have gotten our destined end chapter. We're like, okay, you know. But they didn't do that. They just continued that chapter. So, I don't know. It was weird that they did it. Well, well! I ain't seen your mug in a while! Oh, I'm actually really excited that he's not dead. This is good. No, I don't want an update. Thank you. Um, but it's not a pleasant night for for a romantic stroll. Now, is it a romantic? Romantic? <laughs> Bradley, I did have the sense there was something disagreeable sneaking about. So you followed us. But see, this part did happen in the other one. The same conversation. Well... Maybe not exactly what Bradley said, but similar, right? Sure did! Don't take much to find you with your skills lacking! I'd say the same of you. What happened to the Bradley who would have had her throat cut before I arrived? Huh! So you're Miss Whitley, ain't ye? I see you mind... I see you mind yourself bait to draw me out! Yes, and I've done just that. Heh! <laughs> That's good and funny! You... Toffs are all so blind to the way the world really works that you boast your ignorance. But if it makes you feel like a good girl, I won't deny the fantasy. I'll have a good time ripping you anyway, judging by your face. Fucking love Bradley. Again, it's just because as terrible as it is and awful as I'm sure the voice sounds, it's just really fun to do, even though I'm sure it's fucking awful. And painful because it's very high and I'm probably screaming in your ears, but... You should be used to that by now. That's everything about me. A silver flicker caught my attention near the bottom of his sleeve. Get behind me, Spacey. He means to target you first. Be careful. I will. He won't get the best of me. I complied, and as I moved into the background, Jack stepped before me to face our common enemy. Jack's gonna die. Look! Up there! That's Miss Whitley and Jack Miller's. Why, he should be locked up in the Tower of London! What in God's name is he doing here? I don't know. Can only assume he's broken free of his cell, but it was on the top floor. And that other boy has a knife in his possession. So there is more than one Ripper. I wouldn't be so quick to jump to conclusions. From where I'm standing, Jack Millers is trying to protect Miss Whitley. See, I was wondering if maybe Holmes wouldn't say that or whatever, and they're still going to throw Jack in the slammer. I don't want the ill-fated ending to be they hang him. That's so fucking awful. Well, I can't argue that. But whether he is or isn't doesn't change that she's in danger. Rescue Miss Whitley and apprehend those boys. 
and prioritize our safety above all else. No remaining officers, seal off the seal off the area around Dorset Street, sir. And so I watched the officers of Scotland Yard disperse. Can I come with you, Ryan? Uh, they're both very dear friends of mine. Of course, uh, with me then. Thanks. My mum was one, you know. Never learned her name. Just as well. Poor abandoned child like myself was only brought here to fucking have more like me. <laughs> Horrors are the height of depravity. All I'm doing is granting them divine punishment. And when London is plunged into the depths of fear, the masses will all turn their cogs the same, I lay. If only the police weren't so inept. If only your majesty wasn't so inept. London ain't never have been what it's turned into today. The police. Inept. Oh, what rubbish. The whole country's full of themselves. They're complaining about this. Complaining about nonsense. Complaining about the police's ineptitude. Whilst they sit in complete security. And who gave them that security? Just how many officers still spend their nights and risk their lives to protect them? Jack narrowed the distance between him and Bradley. I just think it's so cute. I still think it's so cute how he's so defensive of the cops. Ah, forget how you dream of being a cover. Over the moon you was when you got to attend Arrington, even if it weren't for more than a mission. Shut up. I'm not doing his voice right. I'm stuck in Bradley. Pitiful babe. Shan't ever be a door you can keep. You, you can step through both times. Because you're a worthless child born from a rubbish heap in a slum. Colonel Moran finds you hungry and parched, so he raise you as his own, and you go twist a knife in his back. I know. I changed my mind. She'll bloom and well kill you first. A sinner for killing the Colonel. A sinner for, sinner for not killing her. A sinner for being born in this filthy, squalid hole. It ain't too late to atone. So let me help you. This is how it should have been from the start. The first move was Jack's, who swung his iron claws aggressively downwards at Bradley's feet. You're too predictable! Bradley's knife glided across Jack's throat, parting his skin at a clean arc from ear to ear. What? The blade cleaved through the air. <gasps> and in a similar arc did his blood spray. <gasps> That is not what I expected. What? What had I seen? I couldn't understand it. The scene played out much too fast. I'd been reduced to some unspeaking bystander from the shock. Jack made no noise following the attack. The only indication of awareness were his eyes, wide open. But they were soon dull. The fuck game? No! That was a little bit hard. That was that was mostly me. <laughs> he talked awfully big, and you know was the best he could do. Bradley, elated beyond measure, went to target the body that had collapsed amongst its own splatter. It was only by some grace of God, perhaps, that this that this last act of desecration would not be done. A thunderous noise drowned all other sound. Uh -huh. The noise brought me back to my senses as I turned to see the police firing all at once toward a single target. Bradley, good! He was riddled with bullets in an instant. I know I felt bad, like when he. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna miss Bradley, but not now! You killed Jack, you son of a bitch! <gasps> Without so much as a cry, he slumped to the ground. It was an anticlimactic death, fitting for a boy of his horrific infamy. In some cruel, twisted line of thinking, it was as if Jack's own murder was the signal to fire. N no I merely continued to stand. Spacey, are you alright? Yes, I'm alright. But Jack's I tried to appeal to Watson the tragedy I'd seen in front of me. But it was too late to do anything about it. What remained of the scene were two bodies. The first, a corpse that seemed more red holes than skin. The second, Jack. A person, a human, who had been denied the closure of parting words. Jack! 
Open your eyes! Oh god, please, Jack! Watson, you're a trainee doctor, aren't you? Please help him! I beg you, save him! Spacey, it's... I kneeled next to Jack's body and clung to it. It was warm, no different to how it was when he was still alive. He wouldn't move again. I didn't want to believe such a thing as I held him, but this heat would turn cold in time. Why, Jack? Was this... Was this what you broke free for? It can't be... For him, this was more important than anything. Shut up, Watson! Nobody asked you! You're ruining the moment! If he could save you, then he was satisfied. Think of how much he struggled for it. Jack fulfilled the one thing he needed to most. I know it's hard, but go easy on the man. Watson? I knew what he said was right. Jack had indeed kept true to his word. The price for this was a body that would no longer move. With no place for my frustrations, I needed only to accept the good that came of it. Jack, he saved me. You saved all of London. Freed us from fear. Thank you. And goodbye, Jack. Night passed into day. I kept closely to my routine, morning paper in hand, and read its contents aloud for Pendleton to hear. Jack the Ripper returns to hell. His last moments were near Miller's Court on Dorset Street. Around 2 a.m., a man brandishing a knife appeared and was subsequently shot down by Scotland Yard's Inspector Lestrade and the brave officers under his command. This latest hunt was considered a success due to the assistance of Spacey Whitley, heiress to House Whitley, a former target of Jack the Ripper's. The Yard did regret the loss of one young man of unknown origins, reportedly acting to save Miss Whitley during a direct confrontation with the Ripper. This is a bit different to how I remember things. And treating Jack so dismissively doesn't sit right with me. Agreed. The Holmeses and Watson played a significant role in the operation as well. But as far as this paper is concerned, the real heroes would, as is natural, be the police. If Jack weren't there, I wouldn't be here. And the police would not have found the Ripper without him, certainly. Jack was the one who saved me, just as he said he would. I placed the newspaper back on the table. As I did, Alicia, Alicia approached with news. My lady, you have visitors. Your friends, Master Holmes and Watson. Masters Holmes and Watson. Please, let them inside. <laughs> well, the way I read it, I was like, Master Holmes and that Watson kid. <laughs> As you wish. Spacey, how are you doing? I'm well. As well as I can be at any rate. What brings you two here so early? My apologies for troubling you this morning. Watson wouldn't stop jabbering on and on about how worried he was for you, you see. Holmes! You didn't need to say that! <laughs> well, there it is. We then boarded a cab to come here. You're both sweet. Thank you. Since you're here, how would you like some of Pendleton's custard tarts? No, thank you. Miss Hudson baked a mountain of ginger nuts just last night, and we've had more than our share. Ms. Hudson, but it's so cute because she's like little baby Hudson. She seemed to have it in her head that we might not come home alive. So she spent the whole night sobbing her face raw and kneading dough by the oven to take her mind off of it. Oh, the poor dear. Right, then. We got a message f uh, for you from the inspector, Spacey. Do you? What is it? Oh, God, I was like, Jack's not dead? <laughs> you know what the sad part is? I'm like, no! And then in my heart, I'm like, we're, we're, it's he's not dead, right? Like, this is what this is. He's not He's not dead. He's going to magically come back. We've gotten all the CGs, though, so I'm just saying. <laughs> I know it's an ill-fated end, but it usually not this ill-fated. This has never happened. They run away, or they just go back to Japan. They don't die. The fuck? Uh, Jack's funeral will be held tomorrow, so if we like, we can send him off to heaven. Tomorrow, then. Yes, I shall be there. I thought you'd say that. No one's been able to locate his father, and we don't know how don't much don't know much about who he associates with outside of school. Um, that's true because they don't realize that Henry Miller's was Colonel Moran. Okay, I was his friend, and I owe him my life. I absolutely want a chance to pay my last respects. Happy to hear it. Come to Highgate Cemetery at noon tomorrow, then. Thank you. Uh, will you two be attending also? 
Oh, of course we will. Now, we have some work to attend to relating to the case, so we'll be going. All right. It was lovely to see you. The next day was Sunday. I arrived at Highgate Cemetery. We are gathered here today to pray for Jack Millers. He may now ease his weary bones and journey to the kingdom of heaven. Forever may he rest in peace. This was followed by a reading from the Bible whilst those present offered their prayers. Each of us carried white flowers, which we then lay atop his casket. This is what you get for not stopping and paying your respects to the poor prostitute, Spacey! You killed Jack! There were few in attendance. It's kind of strange because it's literally like the weirdest butterfly effect, right? We didn't change any other. We just decided to hurry on. Still got accosted by Jack the Ripper in the exact same way, but then Jack died. Like, the act of us, like, paying our respects, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna try harder to protect her. What, 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 like, you know what I mean? It's the weirdest causation, like... Holmes, Watson, Pendleton, and I made four. Mr. McKenzie and our schoolmates added a bit more to that. I did hear of the attempts to reach his father, but these were met without success. Well, yeah, because he did. It's funny. The last group to complete the funeral were several police officers who, who lined up in front of his gravestone. I bore no ill will towards them. Couldn't, couldn't think of how Jack contributed the most of anyone in this case, and how the world would never know. All salute to Jack Miller's bravery. And so they did, with a unified clicking of their heels and elegant motions which paid no less respect to Jack than it would have to one of their own. Inspector, I'm pleased you've come. I wouldn't miss it. Jack Millers is a guilty man in some respects. Still, we can learn a lot from the courage and wisdom he showed in doing what he, what he believed to be right in the very end. In the end, it was our inadequate response which spawned so many deaths. Inadequate response. And I don't speak of those who lost their lives to the Ripper. Those who were suspected of crimes they didn't commit and tormented by their peers. Those who feared stepping outside their homes. Those who came to distrust their friends and loved ones. In a sense... All of London bears scars from this affair. We're all victims. Oh, no, no, no. Put your victim card away. You're fine. It's times like these when trusting one another is a difficult thing to do. And it takes more courage than most realize. Courage you displayed without hesitation, Miss Whitley. And your belief in him gave the same courage to us all. Oh, no. To believe in him is hardly a noble act. Not when you compare it to what he did. You mustn't dismiss your role in this. Your belief led to your protection, which further led to the protection of our city. Never forget that. And we shan't forget it either. I swear to it. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be returning to my patrols. I literally was just thinking as I'm reading this. This is how my brain works. I'm reading this and my mind is like, huh, it's true. We don't get any CGs in this. And we looked, I guess, hmm. Because like I ended the last part with like just a random CG instead of one that came from the epilogue. So now, at the bad end, we're going to use an epilogue CG, because it's the best we get. And I'm like, should have thought about that better. Hindsight! Anyway. Please do. Good day, Inspector. As they had done before for Jack, the officers paid us a kind salute. We did the same, clumsy as ours may have been. An hour passed since the funeral began, and this afternoon Sunday remained, and this afternoon Sunday remained clear weathered and bright. His last day on Earth came with peace. I would not forget Jack Miller's. The days will pass, but heroism must live on. Oh, fuck, man. This is a really short part. Sorry, but also... What the fuck? It's like, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Why were there 30 of those? Um, We don't... Like, I'm sorry. Like, sorry, it's a short part, but I'm not sorry because that was traumatic and I don't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Why do you do this to me, game? Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll look at this one because this is lovely. We'll just pretend. Well, wait, let's see. That one's better. Okay, we'll use this one. So there you go. Um, so that was Jack's route. So I think, what do we have left to do? We've done all of our boyfriendos. So I'm pretty sure we just have, I don't know what we're going to do next, but we've got all of our boys. So the only thing we have left is we have the Kobayashi um, little side thing. We have Marple. 
And then we have our Baker Street Boys. And the Baker Street Boys ending, and then I think there's like a secret, after you complete all of them, there's like another little thing that you do. Um, so, complete all romantic routes, which we've done. The two of the Charmed Ends, which is Kobayashi and uh, Marple, Baker Street Boys end. And then you start a new game and you get the Grand End. And then the, I like the guy says, watch all epilogues. I already did that. I'm way ahead of you there. Um, but, uh, so, yeah. So we'll probably start doing, we'll do the Charmed Ends, obviously, because I feel like that's next. I just don't know if we'll do, we'll probably do Kobayashi first and then Marple, because I kind of want to save Marple, because I really love Marple. So I kind of want to save her. Um, so that is probably what we'll do. And I just, I want to glance at it. If you have a common save one, load it. Yeah. But... <laughs> but here's the thing. I forget what the common save one is. Shit. Hmm. I think we did that in Lupin's Path. We made a common save. Common save two for Jack Lube and Marble. When did we do that? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, the weird thing about the guide that I'm using is like, if you did a common save one, open it. And you're like, yeah, but you should tell me which one it. it and then I'm seeing like, uh -huh, so I'll figure it out. <laughs> Look, I don't remember when we did it. Um. So, see, so I have a common save one for the Kobayashi route, which I may have accidentally saved over. Because I saved over some of my other old... I don't know. I'll figure it out. We may have to do a lot of skipping. Or we may have the thing. And we'll figure it out. But Because um, I'm not sure where it is or how much... Like how long it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be as long as these ones. Or if it's they're shorter. I I don't really know. Because I don't think that they're romancy routes. I think they're just like... um. Yeah, because we just get an ending with them. So it's not like there's a bunch there's not like a bunch of chapters. So I I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll see what happens when we get there, but that's what we'll do. We'll probably do Kobayashi next, so that's how we'll be. So anyway. Sorry this is short, but you go cry now. You know what? No, just look at this and be happy. He's not dead, he's fine. Um, so anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.